Senator Rand Paul has joined the list of GOP senators who are abandoning Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's pledge to support the border emergency declaration by President Donald Trump. I can't vote to give the president the power to spend money that hasn't been appropriated by Congress, Paul told a home state audience at Western Kentucky University's Algenstein Alumni Center on May 2. We may want more money for border security, but Congress didn't authorize it. If we take away those checks and balances, it's a dangerous thing, he said, according to the Bowling Green Daily News. Paul is the fifth GOP senator who says he will oppose Trump's emergency declaration. His vote will allow Democrats to get a resolution against emergency spending through the Senate with a vote or two to spare. But Trump's emergency declaration is expected to survive because Trump can veto the Democrats' resolution against the emergency. Trump is using the emergency declaration to redirect several billion dollars of appropriated funds to help build additional miles of border wall. The declaration comes after the D.C. establishment largely blocked Trump's 2016 mandate for immigration reform. The GOP and Democratic establishments have done little to reverse the rising death toll from smuggled drugs, little to stop the rising inflow of low-wage economic migrants, and little to reverse the chaotic diversity in blue-collar neighborhoods which is being caused by the establishment's cheap labor immigration policy. Democrats need support from 20 GOP senators to get the 67 votes needed to override Trump's veto. McConnell agreed to support the border emergency and the associated funding for the border wall in exchange for Trump's support of GOP's botched 2019 budget agreement with the Democrats. The deal provided Trump with money for just 55 miles of wall and conditions that allow Democrats to block construction until October.